Welcome gamers to another One Piece Bantress video. So on today's video we're going to be looking at the ultimate big mom counter, the EX, uh, the red EX big mom, so the cracker, blue attacker, um, her son is countering you know the mother so that's nice to see. So this cracker is really a great attack like I if I were to you know reconsider that uh, list I made to react to like PNG's uh, top 10 non EX characters, um, he is definitely in the top three <laughs> without a doubt. Like he's putting you know all of those other people down a you know, tier list and then going immediately to three. Rather than Perispero, I think the only characters you can say that you know, uh, Peg is not better than is like um, Uta and King. Yeah, but uh, Cracker is really insane. I would say like uh, you know his uh, biscuit shield. You can use it as, like as a shield basically. Every time it gets destroyed, you heal like 15%, I think. So it's uh, really insane. And the enemy, they can like um, you know, you can like uh, wait for their skills, and then use your biscuit skill, and you know, not take that much damage. So. As I didn't mention, like this game is like put by one of my lines mates as well, like uh, Scopey. So his crack is like five star. You saw the middle set in the support. It's not like uh, you know he's he's waiting for six star to make his uh, middle set for cracker. But I wanted uh, to show um, him like specifically even at five star because hope is like getting the number one cracker uh, before the end of the season. Well, if this video gets uploaded after the season, I, I will just put it down, like his number one uh, in the video somewhere. So, like, Big Mom, you know, can't do much with you, not too much, like, to, her status effects, you know, she can heal you, give you that attack buff, and your skill one ignores damage reduction. Since Big Mom is so big, even if the Biscuit Warriors are slow, you can like really uh you know punish big mom with that skill and she can't escape once you know the dodge removing of that basic skill activates you know their uh teammates the enemies they can't do anything basically to you so with cracker i mean the only unit you really have to watch out for is uh probably green shanks green shanks you literally can't do anything like nothing you can't count him you can't do anything you're just waiting for that, so you have to avoid him at all costs. Fight the opponents you can, like these red units, big moms, zones, and all of like other like other defenders. So you see, big mom is like spamming skills, and look at the normal damage, like 8k on one. That was not even a crit. Like when you have that attack buff, and look at that biscuit skill, also trapping the other big mom, following up with that. Uh, what is it pretzel skill or is and then like dishing out that ignore damage reduction so man cracker is really powerful he has all the traits to be you know a magnificent attacker and as we see there with the first game he really you know clutched it out he did all of that stuff like, yeah and also one thing to mention like uh cracker when he's above 70 percent he gets you know, that if I stagger and he reduces, you know, damage reduction by 30%, his reducing damage reduction, you know, helps out a lot because right now it is the red meta and, you know, to be, uh, you know, really fair and concrete, like, other characters that are not in the red meta, like, like green, like, the defense buff or the damage reduction is not as, you know, OP when you are in the type disadvantage because when you like type disadvantage uh, or the type advantage like that strong they just bypass that defense or damage reduction you have so you need to wait until the meta changes to the color that you you know you're strong against to use those traits well you know, Zephyr here trying to take out that uh, Mm, like uh, using that skill, but the skill didn't hit, it didn't take out the Biscuit Warrior, so that was a waste of uh, those skills. But I think uh, I think yeah, it's not just Petrol's skill that uh, got the uh, draw, it was the big mom, Mesa Cannon. So there's that. Pekka slowed down. 
Like it's always gonna do. And look at that boost. Like when people are being you know, terrorized by the cracker skill, you can you know abuse them with the normals because I don't have dodge. And that um, skill ignores damage reduction, even if so uses the Ashura. No matter what damage reduction he has, you're going to deal a truck load of damage to him. So you can definitely punish him with that. So now he's looking around which enemy can he punish. That's the key, you know, to being a good player with the character you're using. You need to target the right opponents. You need to know which ones you can target. Like if you're fighting a battle you can't win, you're going to sell your team and lose the battle. So it, like if you need to avoid an enemy, do so fight an enemy you know you have a chance to beat them like a really good chance and then you will see the match turn around in your thing so look at that the ammo to use the skill counter or the charge skill and you get that biscuit on your back because you know it was destroyed and then you just follow it up because they don't have a dodge and then you you know it's like instant death like that so, like cracker is um really really good so nothing much you know to say like he's underrated of course like people now they are just broke from uh, spending from EXO, Kaido and you know, Big Mom so people don't have gems they don't have anything so Jim Bay, Who's Who, Pekka and uh, Bruli all of these uh, BF characters have been ignored by players and probably the next bounty fest will start seeing more if you know it's top tier like Uta and King and this cracker, then people will start playing uh, you know this bounty first a bit more until the next extreme unit comes out, of course. So that was a, uh, an L match, but you can see Cracker still dominated that match, still got the MVP, and still did pretty well for himself. So we're on the third match. And I would say, like, looking at the lineup, someone is using, like, the old uh, Snake Man. I mean, Snake Man has, can't do anything, especially that step up one. Only, like, uh, the EX uh, Dream Luffy one, he can do something. Because he, he's just updated, buffed, you know, his skills, normals, and everything are really good. But the Snake Man is just food waiting to be killed. So the Biscuit Warrior, I, I feel like maybe you have to observe the situation. But it got destroyed by someone because you, you got it back quickly. And the Roger destroyed it with that skill too again. You can spam it and you keep healing. And that's the thing. He has magnificent healing for an attacker when you, you know, compare him. Like his healing probably is on par with uh, Perospero, Uta, and all of these uh, crazy characters. So he is definitely a top tier character. It's just that in global, there's still a lot of Thornbred Shanks running around, and if he's there, even just one of them, they will snipe you out like me, and then just ruin the game that you're in. So sometimes you have to deal with them because they like they're on your ass 24/7, and you have to do something about that. The big mom trying to help out the king, uh, Scorpius, yeah, trying to help the king, and then oh, that skill didn't land because was elevated level. Team will steal them up there. Oh, okay, the Zoro got hit by that, and then follow up with that ignore damage reduction. That skill, it's even more, I would say it's similar in design to Uta's skill, but it does more damage, because ignore damage reduction is just simply OP. Especially when a cracker gets that attack buff, and he is attacking uh, the enemy in the treasure or oh, it's maximum then for sure so they're about to get a 5-0 so you can see Scorpy's uh, map read as well like he didn't need to switch the camera to see that there was someone keeping that we saw in the map unfortunately oh they got the 5-0 so that was a pretty good match and you saw Cracker did support the king made sure that was a clutch match and did everything like that so guys cracker is worth to summon or for his top unit people are going to get i know you don't have gems but you know try 150 gem like one uh, single summon 
multi summon. Just get one copy, work on him, and you know, do all of that stuff. So we're on this last gameplay in Dress Warsaw City. It used to be the full blood Shanks map. Now it's like the blue. Shanks is just, you know, <laughs> like everywhere. Because now there's two of the uh, versions that are like in the top 10. It is quite, uh, but luckily we didn't match up with any Shanks in these gameplays. Blue Shanks you do good with, even against Crack. Uh, Kaido, you can struggle a bit, but you can remove his heal block, you know, and you nullify stagger when above 70%, so you can punish Kaido even if with his pressure, even if you don't have the dodge. So you just need to tank him a little bit. Oh, that uh, Orobi <laughs> kind of, uh, baited out the dodge pretty well in the home scope. Oh, he didn't notice that the robot was at the back there. Sometimes the camera can uh, mess you up and not have him. Yeah, sometimes the camera is mess. So that was a, you know, a bad opening turn. Then we skip and then we respawn immediately. So we get that and then we get that like, um, you know, there's like a skill on Zoro. That Zoro can be taken out. Let's see. Oh, got that heal. But heal, yeah, he's taken. So the team is like wiped out now. Check for this one Zoro. This is skill. Look, it's doing so little damage. Like Zoro so tank when he's below at the uh, threshold. Oh. This is damage reduction. So the biscuits it keeps getting destroyed. And like he keeps summoning it. It's so uh, busted and insane actually. And oof. Killing both of them with that skill while. Oh, that's. Getting that triple kill. And there's a forward check. Never mind. You saw the damage. Everything. This unit, even if you. And he's running. He's going to tap. Yeah, will be again. Like, Fulmer Shanks, there's absolutely nothing you can do. That ignore damage reduction doesn't work, and we're gonna skip here again. We're gonna respawn immediately, but you can you can't do anything because he is a more defensive based character. So yeah, that ignore damage reduction skill is just only gonna heal him in his uh, HP. So they are going to lose this match, but he performed well, showed us that that killing three people there. So I hope you guys you know enjoyed the gameplay. And my comment to this video, I will you know, please leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.